The Nikon 85mm f1.8 AFD, quite possibly my new favourite bargain lens. The Nikon 85mm AFD is one of those lenses that feels like it's been around forever, and despite being replaced in recent years with the f1.4 AFG, I still feel like there's very much a place for this short telephoto prime lens in today's world, especially at that bargain price. On the used market, you can find the 85mm AFD for anywhere between 200 and 300 pounds, depending on its condition. And as I said, for a short telephoto prime lens for full frame cameras, that represents incredible value. With nine straight aperture blades and a maximum aperture of f1.8, this lens is absolutely perfect for portraits or talking head style videos. It blows out the background in a really aesthetically pleasing way. It will also stop all the way down to f16, and far from being a one trick pony, this lens will also work on Nikon's crop censored APS-C size cameras, just giving you 129 mm equivalents. But by now, the specs for this lens are more than well known, so let's just jump in and look at the good bits of the Nikon 85mm f1.8. And first up is the bang for buck that this lens represents. I know I say it a lot, but I truly do love finding filmmaking gear that doesn't break the bank, and this lens definitely sits within that camp. A fast prime 85mm lens is a beautiful option to have in your kit bag, and usually lenses of this type cost around three to four times what this one does. So in many ways, this represents a no-brainer option for Nikon shooters. The build quality of this lens, for certain, is excellent. And yes, absolutely, aesthetically, it does look more like a vintage lens than a new one. But its construction is solid and weighty in hand, and it does have that reassuring weight that you get with premium lenses. Alongside this, all the focus rings and the aperture clicks all feel great to use, and somehow it has a quality that's almost like new, despite its age. The image quality, in truth, is beautiful. I've genuinely fallen in love with this lens, especially when we get to film talking head or interview style pieces. That's when it really comes into its own. The separation from your subject and the background and the way in which the focus falls off is just incredibly pleasing to look at. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that this is the kind of lens that makes filmmaking enjoyable and you can never overlook that. But with all that said, let's take a look at the bad bits of this lens. It's not the sharpest lens for sure, especially when wide open. But to be fair, that's a harsh criticism of this lens on its own, as all fast lenses tend to suffer with that, especially in the corners. But it does have to be noted that this lens does slightly underperform when you compare it to its new modern alternative, the f1.4 AFG. And beyond that bigger problem, there's just a host of smaller niggles that filmmakers will find when using this lens. There's no image stabilization, the autofocus is slow and loud, and the minimum focus distance is a whopping three feet. But in my mind, these aren't necessarily bad bits. They're just more quirks that you're gonna have to live with if you want that incredible image for a bargain price. So for sure, the Nikon 85mm f1.8 AFD is an elder statesman of the prime lens world. And with that age come some notable quirks and shortcomings. But for that sub £300 price point, you're getting a truly great piece of filmmaking gear that absolutely delivers and doesn't break the bank. For some more information on this lens, there's some links below. And whilst you're down there, why not consider subscribing to the channel or even signing up to the Filmmakers Club on Patreon. That's been my grab and go review of the Nikon 85mm f1.8 AFD. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.